Would you like to know if your jobs are under or over budget? Well, then you need to know how to make a budget by job. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. The Budget by Job feature in QuickBooks Desktop is one of the most simple but helpful tools in QuickBooks. It's simply a data sheet that remembers the amounts of each expense or other account that you input into the data sheet as the budgeted amounts. After putting in budget amounts, simply run the report called Budget versus Actual and you will see all the differences between the budgeted amounts and the actual transactions. That's all it does and that's all it needs to do. You can change any budgeted amount or any actual transaction and the budget versus actual report will reflect the change immediately. If you rerun the report, you'll get the updated numbers. For example, if you reopen the budget and you change the amount of delivery expense that's budgeted, as soon as you open the budget versus actual report, you will see the new difference reflected in the report that considered the change that you just made to the budget. In fact, the same thing is true if you actually change the actual transactions. As soon as you save the changes to a transaction, still the reports will immediately open with the new difference between the actual transactions that you changed and the budgeted amounts. So that report changes immediately no matter which one you change so that you can see whatever the current updated difference is. So you may well ask, how are budgets saved in QuickBooks Desktop? Well, each budget is simply a data sheet that you can reopen and change. You can have two separate budgets for each fiscal year where one of the budgets is a general budget based on the account balances and the second budget can be your budgets by job. You can set up the budget for any time period you like. The budget can be a monthly budget, a weekly budget, quarterly, daily, annual, whatever you like. And here's our first example. Let's imagine that we're making a budget for the Southwoods Road job for the job expenses of January of 2022. Now, that means that it's fiscal year 2022, job by month, just for Southwoods Road. So, let's pretend these are the budgeted amounts for these five expenses. 87654. From the main menu, click Company, Planning and Budgeting, Set Up Budgets. Now we wanted fiscal year 2022 and profit and loss by job uh, is a profit and loss type of budget if you're doing it by job. Click Next. We want it by customer job because we're contractors and we need to see if the job is under or over budget. Now, we're, in this example, we're creating the numbers from scratch. We're not using previous year's actual data to assume what the budgeted numbers will be. So click Create Budget from Scratch and click Finish. Now, the first thing you must do is make sure that you choose the right job before you start putting in the numbers. Now notice the numbers that we want are down here. If we come here, these are the budgeted amounts that we're going to put in to, in order to see what happens. So we start with cost of wallpaper sold. Cost of wallpaper sold specifically for January of 2022. 
Type in the budgeted amount and push the tab key to save the field. Now, delivery expense, push tab. Demolition expense, let me see how much that was, 600. I don't think we had payroll expense. I think repair expense was 500 and supplies expense for the month of January specifically for the Southwoods Road job is 400 so these are the budgeted amounts that we've input now we click OK and QuickBooks will remember that these are the budgeted amounts now before we start putting in transactions let's open the budget versus actual report before recording any actual transactions for January of 2022 for the Southwoods Road job. From the main menu, we click Reports, Budgets and Forecasts, Budget versus Actual. These other choices are not nearly as helpful as Budget versus Actual. Now, we want it for the 2022 year account and customer job that's the only budget we made so that's the only budget on the list click next now we don't want account by month when it comes to this choice you must choose account by customer job that's the only format of this report that is helpful so we want account by customer job click next and finish now of course the report opens in a big bloody mess so we have to filter it down for the two things we need we have to filter it specifically for our job and we have to filter it specifically for the date range that we're looking for so we click customize report filter click here push the letter N for name and choose the name just the Southwoods Road job cancel if we don't choose only the Southwoods Road job we're gonna get every single job in this file as we scroll from left to right so the first thing we want to do is customize filter by N for name pull down and choose the Southwoods Road job and click OK now it only has the Southwoods Road job. Now we have to isolate the date range and click refresh. Now it looks like something that can help us. But notice the format. These first four columns is just the Southwoods Road job. Then the next four columns are everything for Kirschbaum in total. So if there were other jobs besides Southwoods Road, those budgeted amounts would show up here and then this total is the total of all jobs together and unfortunately there's no way to filter out the total and you can make it a little more clear by moving the mouse to one of the three dots and when you get the cross click and drag to the right do you want all columns to be as big as this one yes and now we can see it nice and clearly and we can see the budgeted amount and we can see the actual transactions are in the left column the budgeted amounts are here and then the amount under or over budget shows in this column and the percent under or over budget shows in the last column so there are really only four columns to the budget the rest are totals that we can ignore now let's enter some actual transactions and see what happens to the budget versus actual report. January 5th paid UPS $1,300 for a delivery related to Southwoods Road. Okay, banking, write a check. And this is January 5th of 2022. This is a delivery to UPS. QuickBooks knows they have bills. Click write a check. We went through this. But the amount is 1300 And the most important field is this. If you forget to put what customer job in the bottom right, 
then you will not see this difference in that jobs budget. So you have to go down and click Southwoods Road. In this case, it's not billable. Just hit enter to save it. And when we come back and refresh the report, you can see 1300 was actually recorded, 700 was budgeted, your $600 over budget, so your budget is at 185.7%. Let's do the next one. January 10th, paid 300 to Rex Repair for repairs that relate to the Southwoods Road job. Okay, same thing. Banking, write a check. This one's on the 10th. It's to Rex Repair, Rex Repair Shop. Write your check, and we know that this amount was only 300. Is that correct? Yes. Now, when we hit enter to save it, oh, don't save it, don't save it, don't save it. The most important is to choose the job, or it won't know to include it in that job's budget. Now, cancel as far as checks and whatever. Look at that. 300 was the actual repair expense, 500 was budgeted, so the dollar amount over budget is a negative because you're under budget by 200 and you're only at 60% of your predicted budget. And that's how this works. So when you take a look at the report, you can see the dollar amount difference and the percent over and the percent under right here in these four row in these four columns now let's change the budgeted amounts and see what happens when we change the budgeted amounts in the southwoods road job for example let's bring down the amount we budgeted for repairs to a hundred dollars it's very easy you can reopen the budget by clicking company planning and budgeting set up budgets now it remembers that we have one for 2022 for Southwoods Road and we said we want to bring down the January repair expense that's budgeted for this job down to a hundred dollars now when we click OK and we refresh the report you can see that instead of being under budget we are now over budget by this $200 here and now the budget is up to 300% of what we You can learn everything you need in QuickBooks regarding contractor features by watching the full playlist that this video is a part of. You can just click the link in the comment field or under the first paragraph in the description field and there's also links in the top right of the video as it plays.